Hey guys, SSR here. So I went by the uh, local Walmart today and picked up a few more items. Um, I've been hearing a lot of stuff about noodles and the spaghettis and stuff. So I thought I'd go ahead and get some of them. We like these right here. I take these and uh, make them, you know, like whatever the direction stuff have to get, you know, exactly how you do it. I know you boil them in water or whatever, but you take some of those and I want to try to move slow so I don't give you guys all a, a seasickness. And mix them with some of this like chicken pot pie. And I'll tell you what, you talk about delicious now. One can of this and not very many of them noodles right there um, makes a meal for me and my wife. And they're awesome. I mean, it is delicious. So I picked up another big thing of spaghetti. And they had potted meat again. So I got another three packs of these potted meats. And then I got here and I realized, trying to move slowly, I realized that the uh, potted meat section is pretty full. So I'm going to have to... Um, rearrange here a little bit because right behind the potted meat is the Vienna sausage two rows and then I have a row of potted meat there so I'm gonna have to do some condensing on that but then Vienna sausages I could stack them up higher I guess but anyway or I could break these down and take them out of there so I've got uh, one two three four five six seven eight of the potted meats now just in those, so six times eight is 48, plus however many cans I have behind there. So anyway, I got those. And then I thought, you know what? Um, maybe, and you, you guys can tell me, I don't know. I picked up some of these storage containers, or two of them. Um, we use them for cereal too. I think these are the ones we use for cereal. I don't know, it may not be, but anyway. There's two of them. They're tall enough for a full-length spaghetti to go in there. And I think those were only, uh, I say only, they were kind of pricey. Uh, yeah, they are cereal. Ten ninety seven for two of them. So I'm going to try to put that pasta in those and see if that will preserve them somewhat. And I'm thinking if I get some uh, uh, moisture, uh, whatever those things are called, um, that you put in there that pulls moisture out. Uh, it might even last a long time like that. So anyway, that's a little pantry update. Uh, we're still working on it. You know, it's, it's an everyday process or whatever when we get a chance. And I go by Walmart, you know, I pick up some stuff that we need and just keep adding to my preps, you know. Uh, we kind of got like... Uh, HBA, or that's what Walmart calls it, HBA, beauty aids, you know, shampoos and stuff up there. And it's not really uh, very well organized right now. When I get the wheels off of this one, I'll probably do some more organizing, you know, and like put all the ready-to-eat meals that are in a can and <clears throat> stuff like that on one shelf, you know, and then the condiments and Stuff like that on another shelf and then crackers and I don't know. So, and that shelf over there, I just kind of stuck it together. So there's like four shelves at the top there that are way too close together that uh, can't really put anything on. And I got full cases of stuff here that we just kind of stuck in there, you know, uh, tomato soup and, or not tomato soup, but tomato sauce. They were on sale at the uh, Cost Plus store. So, um, but I don't even have the, the cases of uh, uh, spaghetti meatballs in a can and ravioli in a can. I just left those in there. And I got like, I got spaghetti here. And I got spaghetti over here. So as you can see, it's all really unorganized right now. And I need to get it more organized. So anyway, just like I said, it's, it's a, a constant upgrading and a, constantly changing and evolving i guess you'd say so i'm sure uh 
everybody kind of starts out like that, you know, you add to it and uh, you kind of figure out what works better where. But anyway, I just thought I'd give you guys a little pantry update of what I got today. And it's not much. And that's kind of how I do it. I don't buy a whole lot every time I go. I just buy a little bit, you know, and I don't even remember what the total was. Sure, it was more now this week than it would have been like, you know, a few weeks ago. $62, you know. So, I'm sure if I'd have bought that a month ago, it would have been like $50. Yeah, you know, who knows? I don't know. But it's going up for sure. So, anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by, you guys. Appreciate y'all. Uh, hit the likes. Uh, and subscribe and God bless.